I am amazed at how many people want to start a rental property business for the extra income to alleviate some financial burdens. But then they go and find out that it's uh, tens of thousands of dollars to get into it for the down payment and maybe another $10,000 on top of the ten tens of thousands of dollars to afford to bring it up to code by local ordinance standards and make it, you know, rent worthy. So then, okay, right off the bat, it can't be done because who has tens of thousands of dollars plus possibly another $10,000 on top of that? And then, oh, the three o'clock in the morning phone calls from the tenant about the whatever needs to be fixed and all that hassle and this and that. And oh, there's property managers out there that can do it for a nominal fee. And then it's like, oh, I don't want to deal with this, but it sure would be nice to have the income. So basically, I want the income and I want it to happen just out of thin air like magic. I don't have to do anything or put up tens of thousands of dollars for it. Well, I have a solution and I'm living it firsthand so I know what I'm talking about. I have incredible standing. Um, here's, here's the best way to do it in my opinion for those of you that are interested. And it's available to everybody except the statement makers uh, saying why they can't do it. It's not available to you because you screwed yourself out of it already before and you can even look at it, just so you know. But for everyone who has any kind of an openness to the possibility that it might work out for them, here's what I did. You can do it too. I got into a home business first. The thing that most people will shut down right away without even hearing about it. But here's why you should hear about it. So the home business, instead of ten th tens of thousands of dollars, I got in for a couple hundred dollars. And because I didn't have a couple hundred dollars, I was able to put it on credit, of which I had no means of paying off. However, I did pay it off because I got my ass to work. And um, I, to this day, I've never missed a credit card payment. So fast forward a couple of years, or two and a half years, two years and nine months, I think it was, to the, you know, Two, two and a half years to be free, and I think it was like another few months after that, so two years and nine months, I had the down payment. Not only was I free, fired my boss, and this and that, but I had the down payment for a house. And then a couple months after that, or something like that, um, as things were going along, it's like, holy crap, I actually have enough to make a full payment. So there's, I don't even need a, the bank to show up at the title company, no bank at all. Because there's, it's good cash. I'm just going to write a check and that's it. And that's how it ended up being. I bought a house in cash, um, but that wasn't my first rental property. That was actually for me. <laughs> so another couple of years actually after that point, I was I started buying houses in cash. I bought my first uh, five rental properties within a year and a half of each other. Can you imagine? Most people, the way they do it, because they don't start another home business first. The home business, a couple hundred dollars as opposed to tens of thousands of dollars. Here's the magic about that. Um, anybody can, even if they don't have the money, because I didn't, that's a huge hint for you that don't have any money, anybody can come up with a couple hundred dollars to start a home business and then get their ass to work and build it in their spare time. That's another thing, another, another part of the magic of it. And anybody has the money for it. Even if you don't have it, you have the money for it because of leverage. Leverage. And everybody has the time for it, even if you have no time because of leverage. So the whole power behind a home business is leverage. You leverage time, you leverage money that you don't have, you learn how to do that, and then you create it. It opens up, time opens up, money opens up, and you've got more options. You can buy your freedom, enlighten the people, make a connection between financial free and time freedom. And rich people, the ones that are really rich, measures their wealth by their time, not their money, but they're enlightened enough to make that connection between the financially free, the residual passive income, and being free with their time. So that was the first thing, being able to get into something that would allow me to leverage money and time, a home business. Um, there's nothing on planet Earth that has more leverage than a home business. That was the thing that made everything else possible. And it's the one thing that most people shut down. Most people are open to the rental thing or any traditional business, except nobody has the money for it, so ah, they can't do it. And nobody has the time for it, so ah, they can't do it. No time or, lever or money leverage, or at least not enough money and time leverage, so they just can't do it. And then the home business arena has the best of all those worlds, and that's the thing that most people are shut down to it. So most people are shut down to the thing that would save their lives, but open to the thing that they have really no resources to get involved with at all. It's just completely stupid, very, very dumb, <laughs> very dumb, and self-sabotaging and just absolute spirit crushing. So the home business thing first because of the time and money leverage. Get that going. Took me a couple years. I was free. Bought a house in cash. And then a couple years after that, I got into the rental property business 100% funded for by that first business where I created the leverage with time and money. 
big clue right there. So here's what happened. This is pretty awesome. So when I got into the rental property business, keep in mind, no other source of income, 100% sourced and funded from this first business. I buy five rental properties within a year and a half of each other. All of them have tenants. I don't visit these properties ever, except uh, when I'm looking at the next one that I wanna buy. And then, but once the deal has been made, the contract signed, I never visit these properties. I don't get the phone call. Um, the tenants don't know me, I don't know them. I have a wonderful management team that takes care of all of that for me. So my communication is between me and them, and they communicate with the tenants. The tenants are happy. Um, the management company is happy because they're getting paid. I'm happy because this is working out. Everybody's happy. And so the way that it works, I've got this first business with the time and money leverage that is open to you, it's open to me, it's open to anybody who is open, and it's not open to people who are closed and self-destructive, period. So I got that going first. I got my ass to work. I was, you know, teachable, all those things in my spare time, didn't interfere with anything else I had going on. And a few years into it, I'm able to get started with this, and I'm able to roll 100% of the money that it generates back into itself. And that is one big reason why I was able to get my first five units so quickly. Most people have to save for a very long time until they can even get in, and that's if they can even get in. Then they get their first property. They have to depend on some of that income for a living. They can't roll it back into itself because they did not start another business first. So it takes forever to get the second property, forever to get the third. And maybe by the time they're old and gray, they might have you know, like a, enough to have a supplemental income. And that is the slowest way to do it and an un, unreasonable way to do it because you've only got so much time on this planet. You can spend all your time getting almost somewhere. And by the time you're old and almost dead, okay, you got a respectable size business, maybe. But you're at the end of your life. That makes no sense to me. So it's better. It's, far, it's not just different, it's superior to start a home business first for the leverage of time and money. And then you get your ass to work on it. And you build that up. You get your personal freedom. And then you start funding this other business, 100% funded for by another business. You get massive tax incentives. Everything rolls back into itself, including the tax breaks that you get for it. You roll that back into itself as well. And before you know it, within a year and a half, you got your first five properties, multi-unit properties too. So I got more than five tenants. These are multi-unit buildings. It's pretty cool. So that's the gist of it. And to even get started with it, you have to have the openness. And I'll tell you from my own experience of dealing with people, very few people are open. Most people are making statements about why they believe they can't do it. And most people, just being honest, most people totally fuck themselves out of every opportunity that ever lands in front of them. And they come up with this bullshit story about why they believe they can't get what they want. It's unfortunate, but it's the truth. And some people will change, or I should say, some people will evolve and start being more authentic and believing in themselves and start tapping into the power of their incredible brain, which everybody has an inner genius, everybody has an incredible open brain, but most of us close it for whatever reason, fear or, or who knows. And that's why I say it takes guts, it takes courage to really evolve and be yourself and bring more of yourself out of you and start acting on opportunities. It takes guts. If you're a guy, it takes big balls. If you're a girl, it takes big brass ovaries, I like to say. And most of the entrepreneurs that I work with, sorry guys, but there are far more women with bigger balls than men. It's true. There are so few men who don't act like total complete wimps and cry babies. It's, it's so sad. But on the other hand, it's kind of cool that I'm one of the few guys that I know that does have the guts and the courage to be myself and to be a business owner and all these kinds of things. It's just, you know, in the midst of all these girls, it's kind of cool. <laughs> so it's kind of like, you know, being in home ec class where it's mostly girls that take it and the one guy that takes it is surrounded by all these girls. It's kind of cool, not gonna lie. But that's what it is. So if you have any openness at all to rental properties because you either love the idea of rental properties or just because you want the financial freedom, do the home business first. And then you may decide that you never want to get into rental properties. Who knows? And then you may decide that, that you want to because you just, for whatever reason, you like it. Point being, you've got the option that first business gives you the leverage of time and money so that you can eventually create those options. Period. And um, if you think a couple of years takes a long time to be able to do that in a home business, 
We'll measure that against the 40-year plan of having a job to retire poorer than you were when you were working those 40 years. That sounds like a pyramid scheme to me. Contrast that to a couple years, two, three, four, five years to retire richer than you were when you were working. Gee, I wonder which one sounds like the better deal that has more options and more freedom and more real rich, which is your time, not your money, but having the enlightenment to make that connection between the money and the time. There you go. This video, no doubt, is only going to appeal to people that have very open minds and free critical thinking faculties are willing to tap into. I have no doubt. So if you dig this video, you might like my website. I've got uh, fireyourboss.xyz. It's not.com. It's .xyz. I've also got, if you'd like to look at working with me to build that first business, it's an optional thing. You may, you may like it. But uh, I have a questionnaire that I'd like you to fill out. And depending on how you answer those questions will determine if I think that you and I might be a good match for this. It'll help you make that determination too. If you think the questions are just completely stupid, you may decide, oh, I'm going to click off, this is dumb. Or if you like the questions, you, may, you might be like, okay, this, I think I need to do this. But you won't know unless you, know, you look at it. So that form is uh, open.fireyourboss.xyz. I'll say it again, open.fireyourboss.xyz. So go there, fill it out. If it looks stupid, you don't have to fill it out, and I'll never hear from you, but if you fill it out and you click send or save or whatever, submit at the bottom, I'll be notified. I'll see all, <clears throat> I will see all of your answers. And if you did make it this far in the video and you want to fill out that form, you should reach out to me privately via Facebook as well and say, Hey, Tom, loved your video. I filled out the, the form. Go check it out. And um, that would be cool to hear from you on Facebook, too. Um, I'm always excited to meet anybody that's interested in a message like this because a lot of people aren't. It takes a, a contrarian thinking person who's very open to even want to hear a message like this. So if you dig this, then I can't wait to hear from you. And I do suggest that in addition to filling out the form, you reach out to me privately on Facebook, too. And I'll hear from you soon. Bye for now. More videos coming very soon. Bye, everyone.